welcome back to Walk's Kitchen. On today's tutorial, we've got a dish called shola. So let's go through the ingredients. I've got here two cups of short grain rice. I've got one cup of mung beans, and I've got a quarter cup of wheat. Now I'm going to wash these thoroughly and soak them for an hour each. Now I'm going to use a pressure cooker for this. So I'm going to use half a cup of oil and four cloves there. I've diced up three onions and I'm going to chuck that in. And I'm going to cook these onions until they're lightly golden brown. Now to the onions, I'm going to add 600 grams of lamb shoulder. Now I'm going to cook this lamb shoulder until you really can't see any pink left on the meat. Which is what we want. We're going to uh, fry it off. Now here I've added one shredded carrot and I'm going to do one tablespoon of salt to taste. You can adjust the salt later on. As you can see my meat is no longer pink and the carrots have broken down which is what we want. At this stage what I do now is I add my wheat and I'm going to add 1.2 litres of water. Now once that comes to the boil I'm going to cook this on a high heat for 15 minutes then I'm going to cook it for a low heat for another 15 minutes so in a separate deep pan I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil and one diced onion I'm going to fry that off till they're brown and I'm going to add garlic ginger and some green chili once I've cooked that up for a couple of minutes, I'm adding two diced tomatoes. Now with my tomatoes, I'm going to cook them off till my tomatoes have broken down, as you can see here. Now for the next step, I'm going to add a pinch of turmeric, two teaspoons of cumin seeds and a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now I'm going to cook this off for another minute or so mm -hmm. and to this now I'm going to add two cups of water and I'm also going to add a stock cube that part's optional once my water's boil I'm going to add my mung beans and I'm adding a tablespoon of coriander powder I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this dish now my meat is nice and tender so I'm going to add my stock and the meat and the grain to this pot while this comes up to a boil, I'm checking my mung beans every time as well. Now my mung bean roughly take about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to cook. Over here I've added one tablespoon of chaat masala. So as you can see here, I'm going to press on my mung bean, which is, means that these mung beans are now tender. They're not fully cooked, but they've only got a short period, another about 10 minutes left to cook. So I'm going to now add my short grain rice. Now, once my water comes or the stock comes back up to a boil, I'm going to put this onto a medium heat and slowly cook this until all the liquid evaporates and the short grain rice cooks. 
and uh, that's the risotto part or the shawla part now i'm going to start on the onion part so in a small fry pan i've added a tablespoon of ghee and i've sliced up some onions and i'm going to cook the onions until they lose their shape once they've lost their shape i just added sliced garlic and a little bit of fresh chili and that's it so I'm going to plate up now. So I'm going to plate up my shawla. As you can see, you won't be able to see the wheat, but I assure you, you'll be able to taste it. Now I've also added fermented yogurt on top of this. Now that's an acquired taste. You don't have to add fermented yogurt. What you can do is add just normal Greek yogurt. That's the fermented yogurt on top. I've added a bit of dry mint and a dry dill. Now that's my onions that have been and garlic that's been cooking away. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and until next time, thanks a lot, bye.